Jesus died so we might live. Amen. Text will serve as the base of our message is our epistle lesson, Philippians 2, verses 5 to 11, Dear Friends in Christ. First grade teacher was explained to her class what Holy Week was, why we call it holy. She explained Palm Sunday and Monday, Thursday, and Good Friday, and finally Easter. And when she had made her point, she asked the students if they had any questions. One curious little boy raised his hand and asked, What happens if you don't want to be holy all week? You know, that's insightful, isn't it? I mean, who wants to be holy all week? Who wants to be even holy on this Palm Sunday? This side of heaven, most of us are aware that being holy at all is an impossibility. The only way to get there is through what Jesus is going to do for us this week. He's going to lower himself so we might be saved. The Sunday of the Passion is upon us as we ask, how could you stoop so low? What an excellent question for us to contemplate this last week of Lent. How could you stoop so low? How could you disciples of Jesus and the religious leaders of Jesus' day stoop so low to climax Jesus' humiliation? The betrayal of Judas helped carry out the humiliation of Jesus. He feigned concern for the poor while being a thief. He facilitated it all because of his lust for money and perhaps, perhaps a way to remove the last voice of truth and conscience in his life. Jesus would stoop so low. The contention and denial of Peter added to Jesus' humiliation. He was so proud that he would stand up when others were falling. Instead of a rock, he became a pile of sand. By denying Jesus three times, Jesus would stoop so low. The religious leaders would find false witnesses, condemn Jesus as a liar and blasphemer, all because Jesus spoke the truth as the Son of God, and this added to his humiliation. Jesus would stoop so low. How do you and I, how do we go about causing Jesus' humiliation? Well, we can see what is no good in others. We just did it with Judas, Peter, Caiaphas. Didn't that make you feel good? at least a little. But Lent, especially this day in Lent, is devoted to looking at ourselves. Our self-exaltation required his humiliation. When we have conflicts in our relationships because of pride, don't we humiliate Jesus by ignoring his words? My, why do you see the speck in your brother's eye, but do not notice the log that is in your own eye? Jesus would stoop so low. Our selfishness required his death. How many families today are broken because one or many family members take care and affection while giving nothing back and feel justified in doing so? We contend that we deserve the good things for which Jesus suffered. Jesus would stoop so low. Our materialism required his death as one accursed. When we trade God as creator for the first fruits of his creation, we lower God to a servant who is rudely expected to provide for our every comfort. Jesus would stoop so low. How could you, Jesus, stoop so low for our humiliation? His nature made such a response to our condition inescapable. He is the Lamb of God slain for the whole world, and He not only created all things, He sustains everything by His power. He would stoop so low so He could raise us up. His love knows no limits. He would go lower and lower and lower and lower for us. His love sets us free 
from concern for ourselves. You know, in our world, instead of exalting Jesus, we have many proponents of other world religions lowering the Christ by saying we're all the same. The late Dr. Malcolm Muggeridge, curmudgeon of the British journalistic establishment, once gave a speech in Washington, D.C., in which he made a number of comments about the current state of the world affairs. All of them were negative. Afterward, one person went up to him and asked if he had any reason for optimism. Muggeridge replied, my friend, I could not be more optimistic than I am. My hope is in Jesus Christ alone. He paused for a moment to let that sink in. Then he finished. Just think if the apostolic church had pinned its hopes on the Roman Empire. The kingdom of Jesus, a liar and a fool to those who deny or lower him, is the eternal kingdom of God whose truth we must live out in our lives. As our text says, every knee will bow, every tongue will confess Jesus as Lord. It's good to be reminded of that. Jesus stooped so low he rode a cold into Jerusalem. He used humble means so that his redemption is accessible to us. Word and sacrament, Bibles and water and bread and wine. And think in all those instances, our head is usually lowered while reading, when we were baptized, at the communion rail. And we can do that because he stooped so low for us. And as our head arises, we look heavenward to the glory that awaits. Stand up straight. Your Savior and your redemption are on the way. Amen.